Hi everyone, this is Phil from Ashton Leather, and if you are a minimalist with a classic style, you're in the right spot because today I've got the Frank the Enforcer. It's a minimalist card holder, and we're going to be taking a closer look at it. And as you can see, I've got just about every color uh, represented on the table here, so we'll go through each of these and see how this one loads up. On the front of the Frank the Enforcer, we have two card slots. There's actually one middle slot as well. We have one card slot on the back. So let's take a look at how this loads up. Each of these card slots can hold multiple cards. Personally, I like to put up to two in each, but many people have reported that they've had success using up to four in each. That seems awfully thick to me. There is a balance between the amount of cards that you put in the slots and the amount of cash you can put in. If you have a lot of cards, like like four in each slot for that example, it's gonna be really hard to get cash in and out of. So for me, two is about the optimum amount in each slot, so that's a total of six cards. The large middle slot on the Frank the Enforcer is actually able to hold cards, but you can put cash in it as well. First you have to fold the cash in half and it fits in rather easily. Let's take a look at the back of the Frank the Enforcer and load that up as well. This Frank the Enforcer is an English tan Dublin. It's become a personal favorite leather of mine. I just love this orangey tan shade. We also have another Dublin color, which is black. And Dublin is characterized by a very intense grain character. And for me, on the black in particular, it's the best black leather that I have seen. It's the only black leather that I've found that has any amount of grain character. And the best part about both of these is the more you wear them, the better they're gonna get. Here's one in black shell cordovan, which is a very classic cordovan color. This is intense blue shell cordovan, which is a really awesome blue. Here's a unique black marble shell cordovan. And each piece of marble shell is quite different, so every Frank the Enforcer in this leather will be unique. And speaking of unique, the reverse shell cordovan, and this is black reverse, is also quite unique. Each one of these will be unique and special to each individual. No two pieces are the same. They all have these random dye splotches in random color. This is color eight reverse, which is really striking, super awesome looking. We also have those same dye marks, random, on the front and back. And we try to cut that green ink stamp in there whenever we can, because it's really awesome. Here's color eight marbled. And you really can see the color range on this. Can range from a reddish tan to an orangey tan to more of a color eight burgundy shade. This is Garnet Shell Cordovan, one of the more recent Cordovan colors. It's a really vibrant reddish brown shade. Here's the classic Color 8 Shell Cordovan. When people think of Cordovan, they think of this color. It's a dark brown burgundy shade. This is a really rare Whiskey Shell Cordovan color. Not many shells get made into this whiskey color and it's super cool. It's more golden and yellow when compared to natural, for example. This is Amaretto Shell Cordovan. It's another new favorite of mine. This is a very recent color edition for Horween. And this one in particular, you can really see that color change as you sort of spin it around on the table. I love that. Last up, we have Natural Shaw Cordovan, and if you're a fan of Patina, this is absolutely amazing. The way that the color develops and changes on this natural is really special. It will start to develop a more dark golden brown shade, and actually it develops even more layers of luster. And it starts off pretty bright here, but the more you wear it, the better it gets. So thanks for checking out the Frank the Enforcer. 
you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or just send us an email and I'll get back to you right away. All right, thanks again. See ya.